Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you. And look, today I have a good news to give to everyone who is living a life contrary, contrary, very, very different from what the Word of God promises. For example, those people who find themselves disoriented, lost, those whose soul is empty, void, souls that are groaning, that are crying, screaming for help, souls that are completely disoriented. Very well. Jesus considers these souls, these people, as dead people, dead people, dead on the inside. So, you who find yourself in this situation, look at what Jesus says to you. He says like this, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, he who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. So, you who have believed in the Lord Jesus, but still you have a soul that is suffering, that is empty, that has been groaning every single day, even though on the outside, everything seems to be fine and calm and peaceful, and no one knows what is going on, what's happening inside of you. But you who are with your soul hurt, in anguish, bitter, you can put as much makeup as you want. You can put a mask on. You can do as many plastic surgeries as you want. It won't change because your eyes, they show that. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you see yourself as someone who is ugly, even though you are beautiful. But you see yourself as someone who is ugly or you see yourself as an ugly man, you find yourself in a situation that is very dramatic even, because apparently, for everybody else, it seems that you are okay, but on the inside, you know that you are not okay at all. For Jesus, he considers people whose souls are without peace, without peace, he considers them dead. But at the same time that he considers them dead, he also gives a chance, he gives an opportunity, he makes an invitation, and that no one has to pay for anything. It's free, because faith is free. Faith is a gift of God, it's free. So, you who have faith, you who have your soul that is lost, but you have faith. Jesus said that whoever believes in me, he who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. He gives you life. And he gives life because you believe in him. That's all, nothing else. You don't have to be necessarily a religious person. You don't have to necessarily be a Christian. Whatever is your faith, whatever is your lifestyle, if your soul is dead, Jesus resurrects it right now, as long as you believe in him right now. 
Of course. But if you say, Bishop, please explain to me, how can I believe in Jesus so that I can resurrect and have life right now, to receive this life that Jesus promises right now, in this very moment? What do I have to do? How can I believe in Jesus? Well, I will teach you. For example, you may have already gone to the doctor, right? You go to a doctor, any doctor. And... He, after examining you, tells you, look, you have this problem, I'll give you here the prescription, which means the doctor gives you his word, his written word, his is the prescription, buy this medication, he take this medication, and you're going to be well. However, there is an if here. If you believe in the word of the doctor, you take that prescription, you go to the pharmacy, get the medication, drink it, and you get well. If by any chance you don't believe in that doctor, he doesn't pass credibility to you, then you, you take his written word, which is the prescription, and you throw away because you didn't believe. And the word of God is the same. The word of God is like this as well. Whoever believes, practices, obeys it, follows it. And whoever does not believe will shrug it off and go away. What will you do? What is your position in regards to your belief in Jesus? Oh, Bishop, I believe in Jesus, but Indeed, I don't really have had that much faith, as he said here. Then you are dead. You continue to be dead. You have no peace. That's the reality, and you know that. There's no peace within you. There's no peace, because peace only exists in the life of those who are alive. Whoever is not alive lives in war, at war within themselves. So, if you want peace, peace is only for those who are alive, not for the dead. Whoever is alive, which means alive in Jesus, then they have peace. So, he said, I am the resurrection and the life, and whoever believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. Even if he, if he may die, he shall live. Only believe. If you believe now, you receive life right now. You resurrect right now. If you believe tomorrow, then you only resurrect tomorrow. Until then, you continue dead. And then he says, he adds more, and whoever lives, everyone, no exception, and whoever lives and believes in me, shall never die. And then he leaves a question, do you believe this? Do you believe this? So, my friend, if you believe right now, right now, you receive the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of life, and you are born again, you become a new person, right now, in this very moment, where are you? It doesn't matter, at home, at work, in a prison, in a hospital, in a clinic, on the streets, in the truck, driving, wherever you are, if you believe in the word of the Lord Jesus right now, right now, really, then right now, he resurrects you. And when he resurrects you, you have peace. And when you have peace, you have joy. And when you have joy, you face your problems in, in a calm way because you are at peace, okay? If you want more help, more information, then visit a universal church of the kingdom of God closest to you today. And for sure, you are going to see the work of the Holy Spirit in the life of many other people who just like you who were living a miserable life, you who resurrected right now, you who believed now and you resurrected now, okay? Thank God. The word of God is truthful. It doesn't die. 
and whoever believes in it will live forever, will never die. The body may be left here because the body is it, it rotten, but the soul, it's miles, it rejoices because it has peace, okay? May God bless you all, and I see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen.